Okay, what to make for this week's video. I got it. Do you smell that? Because we're making sewer tiles. <laughs> now this warrants a whole video in itself, but I am opening Blender and after a couple hours of playing with it, here is the end result. And now we're gonna take it to the printer and we are gonna use that in our build. And after a quick cleanup and cure, we paint them and we are ready to go. So we're gonna make two versions of these dungeon tiles. They're both gonna be three by threes. They are gonna both use foam core. One is, however, gonna use individual bricks. The other is just gonna be bricks etched into the foam itself. Okay, and we're gonna take the printed sewer grate and we're gonna use that as a template. We want it to feed through the other side like that. And definitely use a new blade and an X-Acto knife the utility knife suck. Okay, we're gonna cut the individual bricks. I decided that I wanna make it a little thicker, so I'm gonna glue a second piece onto it and cut it out. And then I'm gonna layer the bricks one by one with the hot glue. And you can be as crazy as you want with this, just make it look nice. All right, so here it is with the grate back in it. Here I'm showing you, you can utilize different pieces in it, make it so it's modular. And here we're starting the next one. It's just layering three pieces of foam core together. We're gonna do the same thing where we draw out the pattern <laughs> and cut it out. All right, now I'm marking out the bricks. I'm using an X-Acto to lightly slice into the top layer, not all the way. And then I'm gonna take a pencil and I'm going to make those lines thicker. And here I'm just doing the stagger pattern. And that's it, that's all you need to do for that. That's pretty freaking simple. And then we're gonna texture it with the tin foil. And our favorite step is the Mod Podge. So now we're gonna create the base here. I'm just, again, pretty much doing a brick pattern, but on the sides, I'm doing a straight line to give a hint of like an edge, but it's the same process. We're just marking with the pencil and the X-Acto blade. And here, I decided that I'm gonna make it curved a little bit. So I'm bending it slightly like so. And then I'm gonna take some pieces and put it on the sides. And we're gonna hot glue that into place. Now this one, we're gonna make it an outdoor area. So the entrance, make it look like a little estuary or a stream or something, but I'm gonna make some banks of earth. So I'm just gonna angle cut with the X-Acto blade and glue that on another layer. And then I'm gonna use the hot glue to blend in the edges. And then we're just gonna sit that piece on top, okay? Now we're gonna Mod Podge. We're gonna use that hair dryer, of course. And now it's time for the paint. So the paint colors I use are Holiday Red, Nutmeg, Golden Brown, and Tan. Really, you can do whatever you want. Just make it a brick color, stone color, you add a brown, green nastiness to the base of where your water is going to be. And for that extra detail, I like to add a rust color, and that's just a base orange. For the outdoor set, I use a burnt umber for the base, add some black for where the water is going to come out, and then I just do my basic stone color, which is dark gray, graphite gray, and black with some white and tan highlights. Make it yours, make it fun, add flock, add some resin for the water, have fun with it. So yeah, here's the end result. You got an entrance. You can remove the door of the entrance if you want to. That's the beauty of it, you can hinge it. Or you don't want this to be a doored entrance, cool. Pop that little baby out. 
grab another piece. There you go. Look at that. Awesome. Look at this. You don't want it to have it, so a creature just busted out of it? Cool. You're going to bust that out of there. Let's put the sewer entrance there. Or maybe this is the other side of that door. Boom. Popped right in. So, really, I like these because I made them. And because they're versatile. And it's upside down. <laughs> Whatever. You can have fun with it. You can make it your own. And if you don't want to make a dungeon tile, you can make a little diorama. Or a set piece. It doesn't matter. You do what you want. Look at that. You want a mini for scale? Cool. Let's throw Tom in there. I just named him. <laughs> End of the day, it's your stuff. You can print it. Enjoy it. Have fun with it. Yeah. So yeah, if you want those SDL files, they're $5. You get a set of 20. And it is at Zane Morgan Crafts on Etsy.com. I will link it below. Again, 5 bucks. You got 5 bucks. You got a 3D printer? Give it to me. <laughs> um, yeah, I just built these because it's easy to just print up something and throw it down. Painting these took me maybe five minutes each. And to be able to swap them out of a dungeon tile or to make it with a diorama, it just makes it that much easier. And yeah, if you like it, let me know. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that little bell notification. It usually is Mondays that I'm trying to post these, but um, you know, it could change. Probably not, but it could. Bye guys, thanks.